Now, how do you maintain that energy and enthusiasm when so teaching so many kids? Because you're having to understand and know each kid and probably, you know, every single child probably is dealing with their own problems as things going on at home and you're trying your best to listen and pull someone out of the shell. How do you maintain that energy day in, day out, all year round? Um, me personally, um, I am very fortunate that I found I found teaching early and I love it. Like, I, I love it. So um, it just comes naturally to me. You know, I just could do it all day, every day. I'm an extrovert, so I sap other people's energy, unfortunately. So if I'm with a lot of introverts, they're all tired and I'm like, yay. So it's a bit sad for them. But with kids, they have an expendable amount of energy. You know what they're like? So I work really well with them. You know, I, I, it doesn't matter to me uh, how much, how tiring it is and how long it takes. But in terms of how do you have the time to know them all and get to understand them? It's all about setting them free. Because if you think about it, and I've been this teacher before, so I'm not calling out this as a bad teaching style, but if you're at the front all day as the oracle and you're saying, okay, we're going to learn about volcanoes today. And I'm going to tell you everything that you need to know. Last night, I went on Google and I read everything about volcanoes. This is what happens, what I did. And I'm going to tell you everything you need to know. So, and you, you, you distribute this knowledge. You just, you know, it's just like, here you go. 